Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Positive God, and welcome back to my F1 2019 career mode, a career mode that I said I'd never do again. <laughs> and welcome to part number 48. We're now on the 48th episode of this career mode. We are live, of course, from the Spanish Grand Prix in Catalonia, season three, round five. As you are all aware, it's been a dog shit season for me this season. Hopefully, we can kind of turn it around here in Spain. I've had a lot of promising data from practice. The upgrades on the downforce have kind of helped me out royally. And to be fair, guys, I'm a little bit more optimistic. Not brilliantly over-optimistic, because obviously I was over-optimistic in Melbourne. Look what happened there. But guys, before we get started, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube. To follow me on Twitch, watch on YouTube. Make sure you click the link in the description down below. To follow me on YouTube, of course, if you're watching video on demand, make sure that you click on the link in my Twitch description. There's like a big massive bio saying YouTube. Click on it, it'll take you down to my page. Click the subscribe button, and then you'll be able to literally... Click on subscribe, as I said, and then click on the bell icon, the ding, and you'll be able to keep up to date with all of the new videos on said channel. Right, okay, so we're taking, we're not taking any penalties, but we're swapping some shit over. Um, basically because I need to. Uh, <laughs> uh, the gearbox, we're going to be trying to ride that out pretty much until the next race in Monaco. Uh, I might just not change that, to be fair, and just have a grip gearbox penalty. I've never had one before in my career, mode. Um, it wants me to qualify third. That's not going to happen, really. I had to update the goals to hard to get the contract down to ninth and eighth, which is much, much, much more achievable, um, especially around here. Um, I think I'll be pretty much pushing top ten, if I'm lucky. Um, in terms of that, folks, we've had an absolutely dismal season. Uh, I've never had three DNFs at this stage of a season before, so it's looking pretty shit. Uh, last season was pretty dire. I had two. And season one, I obviously had Baku where I couldn't drive. Uh, the first points came for me. It's the earliest the points it came to me, but obviously having such a good car, it's quite a surprise that they did come to me that late. Um, obviously, I, I am now on eight points. Grosjean on three is my biggest rival this season. Basically, the Haas cars just simply to kind of contain them. I would have been up there with them last race, but obviously my own driver in inadequacies and a lot of game crap um, come about. I actually got given my first ever Twitch marker <laughs> for my foul and abusive language, apparently, in the last episode. So... Hopefully we don't make a repeat of that. Just going to blow my nose, guys. That one is just for you. Oh, my ear went funny then. Oh, dear. Pop my ear. Right, then. While I'm sorting the stream out, I'm going to go into qualifying for the Spanish Grand Prix. Let's see what we can do. Not long way. This should be interesting. I'm doing this at a different time compared to usual, but same time I did yesterday, so hopefully we get a couple more views as well. Um, it's going to be really, really fun, this Grand Prix. Um, to be fair, even if I crash out once again, straight to the pits, a lot of moaning. <laughs> and over to Crofty and Andy Davison for the Spanish Grand Prix. Qualifying report. You Let's go. You join us today at the circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia for what's bound to be a really hectic qualifying as the teams compete to set the best lap times. Drivers tend to complain about tyre wear around this track, and the compounds on offer this weekend aren't likely to put that issue to bed. It's going to be about who can make the tyres last. Tyre wear is always something you have to consider. It's going to be me, because I can one stop. Degree. Finding a good car balance that suits the circuit will help prolong the life of the tyre, but it's true that some circuits, such as this one, are more challenging than others. How hard you can push morning, Shrews. It's weird seeing you write morning rather than evening. <laughs> I thought I'd bring up bring, bring an episode early in the morning. Got the little, my little beautiful daughter with me. Hello, baby. What are you watching? Sienna. Sienna. What are you watching, baby? Oh, we put a new video on. Ooh. Yeah, we had a bit of a crying episode earlier on this morning. Uh, she didn't like um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, so I had to give her a lovely little cuddle. 6-8 round here, um, pretty simple stuff, uh, the setup is pretty standard really, um, so we're going to go to the fuel, so I missed that out, uh, lower the fuel down to 3.1 laps, means I can run in, uh, well saying that, no, I can't really run in that, can I? Hey, Shrewsy, bit, better practice for Monaco then. I'll do my best, forgive me if you hear any crackling guys. Oh, happy birthday! Hey, man, I'll get on Facebook and share one of them generic posts with you on your page. <laughs> nah, happy birthday, mate. Um, I hope this kind of entertains you in the way that you kind of deserve, man. Good effort. Um, no doubt with me, it'll definitely entertain you. I'm not saying it'll be the right way. I'll tell you what, very quick cars have gone out on track very early in this session. 
four of the top 12 are all out on track, so we need to remember tyre overheating is a big issue around here. Are they having banana? You've had a banana, haven't you, baby? Oh, are you absolutely joking? My DRS is offline. DRS is offline. I know, Jeff. I just said it. So you can stay out while we work on a fix. Goodness me. Oh, God, this car is just infallibly crap. <laughs> I can't drive it. Uh, my DRS is dead already. Who's that, Shrews? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jockey, how you doing, buddy? I forgot, yeah, you said you weren't going to be there. That means Noswell can have another drive this week. Yes, Sienna, I'll be with you shortly, baby. Daddy's got no rear wing for this, this lap. You didn't expect the career over me to go swimmingly, did you? Jesus. Now, this is going to be intriguing to see if I can actually get this done with no rear wing. Don't have to worry about DRS then. Let's see how we do. <laughs> Jock, you think? Oh, Shrews, you've missed it all. Oh, boy, I'm in the fastest car in the game. I've only got eight points in four races. <laughs> it's been abysmal. Oh, Jock, I got a marker for my slot... When I went mental in Baku, I, got, I actually got um, a twitch marker because I went too far. <laughs> uh, Going to be intrigued to see if I can beat the Toros here, then. It's not 117-0 around Spain. Fuck me, Sykes Zaney will fucking kill for all that like that, I tell you. I'm going to be probably pushing the... I reckon I'm going to be high 16s at the best, then. I find it quite unrealistic that the um, car is already fully upgraded, but... Well, that sums that up. <laughs> Back to the pits. Yeah, Shrews, I changed teams and it's gone swimmingly well. Um, it must be sad, right? We're going to go and do a second lap then. I've got to make this lap count. We're eighth in the speed trap, 206.3 Wow, I'm eighth in the speed trap with no DRS. Do you know what? I may just never use DRS again. I might be able to break for corners. Jesus. Oh, you're down off the air. Hello. <laughs> Oh, of course I follow the Ferrari out. Why wouldn't I? Oh, 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 my, my old car. How, how delightful. That's a kick in the dick. Um, there's a lot of people out on track here. I'm going to... I'm going to hang back anyway because I'm going to be... on a cool down run. On a... Well, a cool up... Cool up run, should we say. There's a rat... There's like a ghost piece of front wing that always appears on this track. No one ever loses their wing, but it's just always there. So for race line for this lap. Lucas Weber, he is the season two champion, of course. Managed to usurp Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton denied again. I've got three cars behind me, all on out laps, so we need to just not invalidate here. Hey, I got the RS back! Yeah, boy! Nice. Oh, he's I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> A look at the comments in a moment, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in this pissing down Wednesday morning. I need to go watch the Smackdown from last night as well. Watched a couple of bits. Uh, probably nothing major happened. Sneeze. Shit. Time to break the sound barrier. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, blow my nose. No, 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 no. Oh god. Right, okay, back. I'm actually going to be able to set a lap here. Hopefully, I do. I don't think I'm going to be setting the world on fire with this immediately, but. Only tap down in sector one, that's my strong sector. Six views, nice early guys, thank you for watching. Anybody new to the channel, make sure you drop a follow. 
Anybody who has got Twitch Prime, make sure you fire them Twitch subs, guys. We've already hit £75 this month. Incredible effort from you guys helping me out. Thank you so much. Pretty smooth lap, actually. Three tips off us, not bad. I have another set of time. I think we're going to be quite high up here. If I can just nail sector two, I think this is going to be a one and done. Or well, two and done, of course. I always struggle with that here, but that's, that's going to be probably about six temps off here. Oh, shit. Dropped. Oh, I lost a second in sector three. Nothing to do with the car, guys. The car's handling brilliantly. Loving it. Hey, Wreckfest, yeah, buddy. Nice, man. Have one on me, yeah? Oh, actually, have a lot on me. <laughs> I've got to fucking blow my nose on me as well. Right, um, okay, Butler's ahead of me. Our best lap so far is a 160. I'm underachieving again. Underachieving again. I'm, if I go out here, whatever, basically. Um, Red Bull's handling quite well here, of course. It's Spain, so they will be achieving quite a lot. 11th. I think I'm probably going to fall to about... Well, I'll probably fall to 12th. Imagine. 13th. Okay. Wasn't a very good lap. Definite improvement, sir. But... Oh, baby, did you see that truck go past? Wow! I don't know where your sunglasses are, baby. And I don't know why you're trying to wear sunglasses inside, anyway. Oh. <laughs> we made it to Q2. Um, happy days. So it was a nice step in the right direction. Um, these are starting to pour in here, guys. Uh, at sea, welcome in. If you haven't followed, please sure do so. I believe I recognise a Mr. J Pavitt, aka Apex. Thank you very much for watching. Wakalama, that's that's probably my favourite. Give me a second. And Titanier as well. So thank you very much, guys, all for tuning in. Hopefully, I do better than I did in the previous race. So we've got one run in this session. There's the Mercedes out on track nice and early. I wonder if any of the Red, Red Bulls haven't actually made it to Q2 yet this season. Curious to see if they do. And they still don't. Red Bull eliminated. Renault eliminated, of course. I believe one of the Torossos went as well. I think that is Alex Albon. No, not Alex Albon. He's not even in F1 anymore in this game. Uh... Lando Norris, he replaced him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No validations, please, kids. No validations. Once we let this alpha go, we have a clear track ahead. Love how I'm putting it at max mix and not pushing. <laughs> Just favor. Who is this here? It is Titan here. Oh, cheers, buddy legend. Yeah. Hey, man, I, I don't, I'd literally be like this if I had no views. <laughs> it makes no difference to me. Nighttime, obviously, when the little one and the missus are in bed, I sound a bit more like this, you know what I mean? But it's just good to be able to adapt to the surroundings, I guess. Tires are sitting on 96. Hey, my enthusiasm will turn to rage very quickly in this career, man. Thank you for saying you rock. That, that, that sort of comment makes me buzz, man. You know what I mean? That sort of shit's cool. I love it. In Baku, um, I made a big rant on Codemasters and it got reported. <laughs> so, uh, enthusiasm goes both ways, I guess. Uh, okay, let's see if I can nail this chicane here. That's a bit of chicane. Just the RSN keeps stepping out a little bit. Let's go! Uh, we've got... Yeah, yes! We beat one of the Williams out of the pits. No, we didn't. The other one... Oh, no, it's not even quite the garage yet. Okay. Oh, that off the curb there, which stopped flat round the corner. Not oh, purple, I expect to be in Q3 if I just miss out, it's not the end of the world. Let's turn the team goals down a bit as well.
How does it feel as bad today? With two ultimate fucking aerodynamical upgrades, I should hope it's not as fucking bad today, to be honest. Very conservative, by the way. Let's see if I can actually overtake him. <laughs> okay, happen. Right, okay. Um, I think that's out in Q2, unfortunately, guys. That's a good second off the pace. It's just slightly annoying, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, yeah, oh, one miles off the pace. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 dear. In my accustomed P12, which will probably become P13 here, I'm really underachieving at the moment. I know I can do better myself. I just need. I'm still, after five races, not grasp the car. There you go, already done a P13. Could be P14 here. No, it's P13. Butler beat me again. Not perfect, but by far and away, um, <coughs> it, w it wouldn't let me. <laughs> it wouldn't let me put it to 12. <laughs> I tried everything. I've got to keep the race bonus. Actually, I don't need to keep the race bonus up. Oh, yeah, I do. Yes, I do. In case you have any regulation changes. Because basically, folks, I've literally got four aero, uh, sorry, durability upgrades to do, and then my car is completely maxed out. So I should be a lot better than what I am. But I think that's more to do with me as opposed to the car, because the car, this race is feeling brilliant. Um, not going to lie, it's feeling absolutely fantastic. But we do get to start on the soft, on the medium, sorry. So we will be able to kind of push further into the race if I can survive damage. Uh, I think I think the term is destroyed by Perez. Um, <laughs> absolutely annihilated me. Uh, we're still doing, folks, by the way, the rumor game. So if basically a team is rooming to sign me, whether it's Renault or Toro or, you know, for example, any team, however good or bad they are. And of course, if I do get fired, I'll be um, hosting a poll up on the page um, on our RF1 Facebook page as to what team to go to next. Obviously, Williams and Racing Point will then be excluded from that poll. Um, <laughs> best finish! 13th. <laughs> For God's sakes. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, apparently, it wants me to qualify third in Monaco. Okay, then. Right. <laughs> That's going to work. Oh, man. I miss Williams. It was a, it was a lovely little team. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'll have a look. Have a look at Science's results. He's got a P12. Russell's got himself his highest is 14th. Russell's really uh, underachieving as well. To be honest, overachieving compared to last season. I think it was his highest finish all year was 14th. No, 13th. He beat me in Monza, didn't he? And penalty. Um, the Williams car got a lot more competitive. I just got a lot more shit um, at the end of the season because they're my bogey tracks. Basically, the start of the season and the end of the season are my shit tracks. Once I get towards kind of Canada. <laughs> As you see in season one, Canada only well, Austria of course always yields me points for some reason. I just I just can't stop scoring around there. But alright guys, um if you can all stay tuned, I'm gonna be back in two minutes, just going for a quick cheeky little smoke, and I'll leave these results on the screen for you. Back in two.
quick cigarette because it's pissing down. Right, anyway, let's get going. Uh, Spanish Grand Prix. I've lost 20, I think, what was it, 23 races I've done. No, 25 races I've, I've wing damaged 22 times. Can we have a... Spain usually ends up being clean for me, though. Because I'm too busy managing tyre wear and stuff and tyre temps. So hopefully I, I can kind of adopt that philosophy here. Give myself a decent little finish. Over to Crofty and Anthony Davison for the Spanish Grand Prix pre-race report. Let's see what we can do. It does get cooler later, so that's handy. I hope we see some tight wheel-to-wheel -wheel action down the main straight. Circa Mansell and Senna way back in 91. We do have well, great downforce now, which will come in handy for the likes of Hungary, which is a key one for me. Of course, that's not for seven races, so we've got to traverse all these tracks first. Austria, I really, really hope that the car handles great with the setup. I'm just going to be running with the setup that I've applied, guys, because there's no point me fucking around because it's not worked so far. I need to learn the car with the setup. So I'm just talking over Crofty because like no one gives a shit what he has to say anyway, really. Um, we're on part number 48. I found that incredible how you guys are still tuned in after 48 parts. I've got a bigger following than I used to, which is amazing. Oh, Stop slagging me off, Crofty. <laughs> it's been four races now. Leave me alone. <laughs> but it's up to me to get better. Like, there's no one else that can do it. It's just me. I might start doing all three practice sessions again. It's time Just to, to kind of get the car up there. I keep doing one practice session or two practices and then fucking off. Oh, it's generically assigned. Which means Mercedes and Ferrari. Today, oh, Vettel got fourth. Bottas, Vettel, Kevin Magnussen, and Grosjean. Verstappen, Haas. Perez, Hulkenberg, yep. and Lucas Faber, Gasly, <laughs> Butler, Thomas, and Sainz, Russell, Norris, Kimi Raikkonen, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Ricardo, and Lance Stroll brings the grid. Once we go to Renault, and, and I will absolutely smash it, or if I go to Red Bull, I'll absolutely smash it. A car that isn't top end speed. I reckon if I was in a McLaren, I'd be probably up there at the top five, to be fair. But we're not. We, we've made the choice. Force India, or Racing Point, sorry, approach me. I stay true to my word. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. Don't let me down, don't let me down. <laughs> oh, my nose blow before we get started. Fuck it, why not? Tell me I was muted. Butler is kind of overachieving with that car anyway. Um, so he's doing all right, excuse me. Senior has always been arse favourable as well, so I was actually tempted to throw a bit more rear wing. I'm on, I'm on a 6 8 setup at the moment, which is ironically more than I was running in the um, Spanish Grand Prix all of last week. <laughs> to be honest, so far, there's been no point finishing <laughs> for three DNFs. But I am always hopeful for Spain. Um, always. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. One of my major issues is I'm running, I'm on different brake pressure as well, so it's literally a case of just adapting with the car. It would have been interesting to see, if I was with the Williams, how we would have progressed. Because I have got used to the car, didn't I? And obviously, like if no team, well, I think at this point Racing Point are going to fire me, so <laughs> I've never been fired in a career mode, ever. I came ex unbelievably close from McLaren in 2017. For managing to get a fourth place in Monza under amazing conditions, probably my best ever Grand Prix. That could it just see if everybody up front's got soft tyres on? They do, brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna see if everyone behind me has medium tyres on. They do, brilliant. So, we've got two set strategies here today. It's been very generic based on the tyre wear. Need to get rid of Butler as soon as possible. I know the start's going to be atrocious, so we're going to we're probably going to fall to our 15th place. <laughs> we turned that Williams into a great car. Um, better than what it was, of course. They are now pretty much best of the rest. But find it out if there's no point racing. I'm on the outside, though, which could serve me well. Got a whole bottle of pop for today's escapades. Start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed. Be ready with 
Here we go then, folks. Still not fixed the AI starts, have they? They've absolutely left me here. Kept our grip position for once. Right, great driving there around the outside of Carlos Sainz. So I think now we can just deal with Devin Butler as and when. Ooh, pulled out of that move. Oh, Carlos Sainz having a little bit of a jab there. That's my old car, by the way. Nice and smooth. No wing damage yet from any of the AI. Usually we get one or two that have a fuck up around Spain. Yes, my beautiful. Coco Melon. Nicely around that corner. Tires are not overheating too much. Brilliant. So we can just have a nice chill out here. Hi. Paris is only in 10th, so it's not exactly like I'm really underachieving at the moment places down. I would prefer to be fighting up the front, of course. Every person who plays this game wants to win. You don't just come to fucking drive in P13. That start was okay. Now stay alert for threats around you. Very weak round that chicane, but we are pulling away at the moment from Carlos Sainz. We should be able to get Devin Butler here. They have So I have got a rather good upgrade here. The car was a bit loose thing around that corner. You see double break in there, offset me a little bit there. Let's see if I can just hold it. Round, set, round turn two. Perez has Hulkenberg all over his ass. Hey. Let's get the move done. So Perez up to the ninth. So we're going to start to motor a little bit here. Baby! Baby. <laughs> Think about the move there. No, I'll get the job done. We've got DRS coming soon, and our DRS is just absolutely a Peter fuck. That's a better line, and this should be job done here. Do you know what? This season I pulled off some magical moves. <laughs> magical moves. Anybody sees any good moves, make sure you clip them, guys, as well. Like, or even, even clip my bad stuff. You know, you know obviously, you know, Circa Baku uh, 2017. It's good entertainment. So now it's me... Trying to catch Gazi, we need to manage the tyres a bit better though. Race officials have enabled DRS. DRS is now so I'm also keeping up my straight line speed here, that's intriguing. I do love driving to Spain because it, it's a technical track, it allows you to kind of not overheat the tyres, it allows you, to, allows you to kind of learn how to manage them. Spain is a very, very good track if anybody's looking to learn how to manage their tyre temperatures. A lot of flowing corners where you can literally just not put the power down too much. And we have got Gasly in our sights here. This is P11 potentially. To keep it smooth, keep it clean. Butler's coming with me. Watch the turn 7, you've just got to be careful out of it. Turn 9, we'd never go flat out around here. Not in race scenario. Not yet anyway. And Gasly's got no DRS here. This could be easy pickings. Lack of break in there. Got caught in the dirty air. Avoided Gazi's rear very nicely. It's back a little bit, unfortunately. Gasly is once again underachieving in a top car. Really well overachieving in the racing point. Uh, but I'm ironically in his seat and struggling in. Incredibly. They get DRS, but hopefully our DRS is a little bit more prominent. We do see, I think we're going to be able to potentially pull off another move here on the outside. We're going to go to the inside, though, and didn't get the move done. Okay. Nice and smooth, so we're going to have another lap here just to prepare. Very close to moving. Get the move done, sorry. Haskar is once again struggling. Better exit there, but ah, Gazi kept it nice and clean. He yeah, doesn't feel much pressure at all, does he? Oh, 
at the inside. That's early braking. Just put a line through there if I could just keep it with him on sector three. Bringing Devin Butler along for the right. See, that's intriguing. Good drive from Butler in the Toro. A little bit too full of the chicane there. That's going to cost me a good couple of attempts, you'd imagine. There's Gazi with DRS again. So. <sighs> Smith's a mistake. Holds his line very nicely. Butler has a left P14. Fuel, get the engine temperature back in the outside the 120s. We'll have another little push here. Tyres are very, very nice. They'll get me to 14 easily. If I can, no, dam no damage here, that'd be ideal. But let's so we the DRS again. He's dropped back out of the DRS range just, but it's not going to help me out at all. Ready for the hairpin. Sticking with me. Really good drive from Butler. He's left the guys behind him. Butler's really, for once, our former Division 2 F2 rival. Division 2, fucking hell. RF1 on the brain. Oh, sorry about the crackle, guys. Sorry about the crackle. Because he should be within DRS range. And he is again, but hopefully we can get a run. And this time, I think we got him. Brilliant move! P11! Round the outside manoeuvre! It's whenever I don't push too hard, this car feels amazing. It's when I push too hard, that's when the car starts to fuck up a bit, and there's a car going slow up here. Only three places behind our teammate at the moment. I've been humbled in the first four Grand Prix. You can use overtake to get past. Now Grosjean is struggling a little bit, as is Magnussen, he's holding, oh, that's a very, very shit line through there, so hopefully we can just keep the RS. Manage that from here, come on, come on. You keep the RS nice. Another great move, and we held it. We have in the points, yes! My little one supporting me from behind me. Another rally outside move. Now we just need to stick. These cars are on softer tyres than us. This is looking really, really promising. Do what we need to do. Not over pushing, not over compensating. Moving our lines. The car feels fucking majestic. No DRS, so we will see Grosjean hold me back in here. I'm going to have to use overtake on the main straight, unfortunately. We've got, I've just got the setup absolutely perfect for this track, it would seem. Wish I could have a little bit more. I can't run a nine wing, it'll be too much on the back. DRS is so we're gonna have to literally just there's P4 up the road by the way, so that's intriguing. And they're all pets, they all pet! Sergio is in the pits. We're P3 here! Check your MFD P4, for sorry. A new strategy option. Copy that. Is that mysterious? I'm gonna try hitting that from just out for shits and giggles in a qualifying session if I'm through. Bit of frame rate drop, guys. Do apologise about this. Not much you can do about it. What 
Bottas just around the corner here with Lucas Faber. Bottas is ahead of the gap to car in front is 2.6 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tyres are seven laps old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a one minute 20. For us to be here is brilliant. That's 2.2 seconds off a guy who's in the top five. We inherit the lead of the Grand Prix. I am leading the Grand Prix here, folks. Convincingly so, it seems. First ever time I've led a race. It took me 42 episodes to do it, 48 episodes to do it, but we're here. We are a world, we are worlds ahead of the other cars as well, so that's good. Pulling away from Gasly on the main street, probably going to lose it here, so... If I keep that one to one point, just keep it over a second. Six laps till the pit stop. A superior straight line speed over the Ferrari is always handy. Five, nine, four times quicker. Butler is in third place, remarkable for Ben Butler. I've led a Grand Prix for a very, very long time in career mode. Not since 2018 when I was in the Williams, ironically. But a couple of attempts to lap on Gasly. The car is finally showing its full potential in the race trim. Mercedes is already through, so that's intriguing. Mercedes is going to be pushing like an absolute cunt. Absolute zone here. A long way to go in this race, surprisingly. It's taking quite a while because it's in Spain, there's quite a lot of laps around here. Quicker than me to be fair. It's really put three seconds on Gasly already, and we've not had a warning yet. We're happy with the current tyre condition. They should last a while yet, so don't worry about them. Any of the top six teams retire, that's guaranteed points pretty much here. Even if I keep it clean, it's guaranteed points, because we're ahead of Gasly. It should be my fastest lap of the race, this comfortably. Oh, it's not! Damn it. Back to high. We're going to stick on high for a lap, I think. 3.5. Just under 
three laps. I will be pitting on 14. I just don't want to any unnecessary risks, of course, with the tyres. I don't want to go too far on them. Jeff's lined up the str mapped up the strategy. And my pro projected strategy is ironically the same as this. Five. We're starting to begin to open up a gap at a Galaxy 3.8. Yep. Galaxy's pulling away from Butler, and the Mercedes is nowhere near him, amazingly. Chase and Pack are around about 15 seconds off me. They will be pitting again, of course. A stunning drive so far. Long way to go. To the four second lead now of Gasly, just need to keep it clean. Tires are beautiful. If these don't overheat, then the other ones are going to overheat. That's always a plus point. Just basically manage the tires blissfully well. High mode down the straight. That seems to be doing the trick for us. Gap to teammate behind is 23. He's catching me, but he's on quicker tires and fresher tires. Right, we're nine tips a lap slower than Vapor, but he's on quicker tyres, of course, and fresher. Butler remains in third, amazingly. One and a half seconds to pit. That's good. Just not pushing for a change. It's been nice, really, just not to push. Five, eight. We're putting three temps of the sector on Gasly here. This is going to be five, but good. Might be six by the time we pit. We're joining for the first ever time in the points, so this is pretty cool. Since Austria, of course, last season, not driven like this for a long, long time. So I guess forgive me. Bit of a crackle there on the microphone. Pit window open. Let's box this lap. Yes, folks, for you tuning in, this I've not done any flashbacks, and I think I'm, I'm genuinely leading this race. I think said about that. Oh, I should. I won't lose it from here. Okay, this lap. Made five on Gazi. I had a very, very scruffy. Uh, actually, I'm going to lower the ERS a little bit here. This is into P3, so he's about 11 seconds up the road. I, like I said, I've got no anticipation of winning this race, but it'd be nice to pick up a podium at least. At least just some points. We're leading our teammate by 23.1 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're in 12th. The time last lap was a 1 minute. Yes, my baby. to 10th it appear, but I am running a lower mix now. Pit now. Pit now. Or lower lower mode, should we say. Get in there! What a start! Yes, my baby. Oof. Having the race of my life. Second to have a quick drink. Butler and Sainz collided. That would explain why Sainz ended up falling a bit further back, wouldn't it? Because he was... Oh, that's why I got past him then. It wasn't me who hit Sainz. It was Butler. He ran to the back of Butler. That makes a bit more sense now. Here we go. Pierre and Devon all in the pits. No, come on, go! Oh man, don't stop fucking that, come on. I need to come up behind this group. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Just stay in front of the magazine, that'll be incredible. Oh, we do break nice and early, and we stay in front of K-Mag. I'll come out the pits in sixth. 
Voltaire's here. Let's get to high RS, because I can run that now. Bottas is chasing down the McLaren, I believe that is in front. You okay, baby? Yes, beautiful. Yes, baby. Push, push. ERS to overtake. What are you watching? It's a point of the straights, basically. Mm. This is a very quick bit of McLaren here, surprisingly. I've actually beaten Sujo out of the pits. It's an incredible overcut here. So you have to traverse all the traffic. Is literally my um. You okay, baby? I should just hold that magazine now. Believably clean. He's come out right. Look, with his Gazzy's come out in front of his team as well, and they all have to pit. Me and Pierre Gazzy have hit an absolute worldy here. Good points for the pair of us. We both struggled this season. the faith that Racing Point had put into me by keeping me in this drive. They didn't have to. They got rid of me after Baku the way I started. Here we go. We'll put nine to Bottas. Slightly slow, but remember these guys all have to pit again. I'm going to, I, I'd probably go to lap 50, let alone bloody lap 33. Don't feel as nice as the me fresh mediums, but of course they wouldn't. I think they are dropping back a little bit, yeah. 2.0. We're losing about a tenth, per set, tenth, tenth a lap, but that'll change. Keeping the likes of Magnussen and Perez firmly at bay here, which is nice. Show off. Finally happy I can show off my actual racing talents here, rather than just being a joke. Because that's all I've been in the first four races. I've been a joke. People have watched me and just laughed. It's so pathetic I've been racing. But this is for the first time, the first true time anyway, um, me showing potential and what I can do. Let's go get a move I put about a couple of attempts on me a second, but remember, we are running uh, the hard attack compared to them. Which for me, if I was on mediums, then we'd be kicking ass right now, but we're not. So we're on hards, we're going to play in the long game. He's, every single car in front of me has to stop again, which is a real, real big reassurance. I hope that Hamilton comes up behind Gasly as well. It's going to be a straight fight between me and him for the win at this rate. Loving this Spanish track. Wish I could have shown what I could do with it a bit more in the RF1 race. Obviously with the rage quit, got distracted, bang in the wall, but no distractions here. No distractions here. 
the final stops will be coming soon. And these guys ain't got DRS on me, which is brilliant. Here we go. Bottas, the only reason why Bottas is kind of pulling away is because he's in the DRS range. Press through, there's no doubt he'll be all over me in a minute. Wonderful race so far. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. The flag, that I believe is Hulkenberg. That is a massive, massive failure here. It is, it's Hulkenberg. And I think the Ferrari hit him! Hulkenberg gone. Standard mix. <laughs> Don't know why. So the, and the Ferrari pit. So Gasly is going to be behind in Magnussen, you'd imagine, right now. He's going to take it very easy through this lap. Lewis has come up behind Gasly. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. The big stricken car. I really want to hold Perez up, but at the same time, I don't want to let through. You get through, Sergio, you get through naturally. Don't cause me any issues, please. Our gap to the car in front Pit. is 3.5 seconds. Having a sensational race so far. Pausing in a minute, guys. Need to take a, a Rennie. Amino acid building up me a little bit here. That's what you get for drinking loads of fizzy drinks. Bottas pits. That all on the charge. Perez and Magnuson pit. Brilliant. Yeah. Sergio is in for his stop. Yeah. D2. That all will be coming in now. Gap to teammate behind is 3.8 seconds. That was a stupid thing to say at that point, Jeff, wasn't it? Like Gazi puts up to Hamilton, really. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, Jesus Christ! Got that camera. Showing immense potential. Yeah, this is easy. He's saved enough at the moment. High mode. Driver needed. But with another potential pit stop, we'll be leaving this Grand Prix. Vettel is stopping now. As I take over the lead of the Grand Prix. Brilliant. <sighs> I should hear them. Hamilton is on the hard tyre. Could we... We're on the same tyres as the de facto race leader from before. We need to look at the gaps up here. 7-3. Okay, it's getting very dark. Rain is forecast in just over 10 minutes time. Rain in 10 minutes. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. Not even thinking about the end of the race yet, guys. Just taking the next corner one at a time. 
Have I got a podium? I haven't even got a podium in my career yet. Second place, I'm going to cry over anyway. 7-3 to Gasly, we are now... 7-4. The gap's going the right way. It's an 8-9, okay. Gasly just needs to hold Hamilton off for as long as physically possible. Oh, 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 that's a bit of a dodgy line there. We're going to stay in high ERS. Not going to push too hard. Got to save that for the end. Absolutely key. Two McLarens behind him, too, so. See, Hamilton's putting two tenths of a second on me. Oh, no, don't need to do that. Max Verstappen gets the fastest lap. He's there as well. They're actually going to catch me before the end, the McLarens. It's a fucking rapid lap, though. <laughs> Jesus. Just doing the right things at the moment, keeping the gap the same to Lewis. Very nice. So the likes of Weber and the McLarens, they all have to get through. And if they do, then that's where my race becomes very fun. Worst come to worst, guys. Now, I did have to pit again. I'd actually come out in the points. <laughs> as amazing as this is. Obviously, Hulkenberg retiring is a big thing for me. Eight to Hamilton. Yeah, it's staying the same. Gasly has a four-car train behind him. Perez, Bottas, Magnussen, I believe that is. And an incredible performance from Devon Butler. He may even score his first point here as well. 7-8 to Gasly. I did have a very scruffy third sector. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Yeah, he is dropping back though. That is correct. He is dropping back. Just in that last sector he was very quick. Seemingly nothing has gone wrong so far. The box looking delightful. 42%. 7-8. Hamilton is all over Gasly now. Yeah, you are saving my race, buddy. You are getting your uh, Ferrari's first podium as well this season. Norris is gone. Out on the start, finish straight too. It's a shame. A lot of a bad race, Norris. Really underachieving in that Toro, though. Hey, Hamilton is all over Gasly now. Gap is staying the same. I'm not pushing though. That's a key thing there. It's not pushing. Not pushing. No point pushing. No point pushing. Yellow flag. Caution. Caution. Yellow flags ahead. No overtaking through the caution zone. Be careful until you see the green. All other Norris. Two cars out. First time this season. Okay, clear. Zero <laughs> remains. What's that, baby? Just a, and then nine laps to go. Hamilton's got Gasly here. Hamilton and Gasly are side by side. Hamilton's got him. The race begins. My race to lose. Away from Ga Hamilton here. We're expecting rain in around 10 to 15 minutes. Cooler conditions will really favour these tyres because mine are more heated than theirs. Yes, Bibi. You okay? Can we just turn this down a minute, Bibi? Because Daddy's streaming. We'll get this. There you go. What are they trying? My lap times are immaculately consistent. They did catch me a little bit there, but not nowhere near enough. Bring it this lap car can just get out of my way. Happy meal! <laughs> Happy meal! 
and you have chips and you have a fruit shoot. As he's sticking with Hamilton, Gasly is saving this race because if them McLaren, if them two McLarens and Lucas Faber get through, I'm cannon fodder. Absolute cannon fodder. Hamilton is saving Gasly at the moment in turn. Is it not funny? This guy is the first legitimate time I'm lapping somebody. With no problems. This has been, and ironically, it's my former teammate. Did I make a mistake going to racing point? I'm starting not to think so, to be fair. I'm just going to literally wait behind George. I don't want to move out of the way in a stupid position. Literally sacrifice a few temps off my time here just so I can breeze past him on the straight. We get DRS as well. Thank you, George. Superstar 80. Hopefully see you in racing point soon one day. You never know. Only dropped three temps as well then, just by being patient. This race has been the most patient drive of my life. Look at the rewards. Baku, push too hard. Bahrain, push way too hard at the start. I see you. One minute, baby, just finishing this race. If I win this, baby, this will be amazing. But I'm not even thinking about it yet, still Vettel's in second. Right, okay. Or third, sorry. I believe it's about to begin. These guys all have to traverse George Russell and at the Renault. Bit of mind, like this time last season I was racing Giovinazzi. Like last race I was racing Giovinazzi. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's put this into a bit more perspective here. Uh, 8.0, we've got a... Uh... Don't park on the apex. Don't park on the apex, Gio! Gio, don't park on the apex! Oh my god. Not a funny retard. I'll take it just to make it lost time. I'm going to be able to lap Ricardo for the end of this race, and that's pretty much us. Yeah, I dropped five, half a second there, and Vettel is all over the back of Hamilton now. This just looks inevitable, doesn't it? Ironically, the guy who robbed me of my first ever win in career mode in season three in Williams. Some information on Faber. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some that's a good sign. Lucas Faber slows down. One less fucker to think about. Little 7 4. Me versus Seb here. We have five laps of fuel remaining. It's just me versus me at the moment in my own head. Cheeky little bit of sunshine over the top of sector two. Give me a bit more warmth in the tyres as we come over the crest. I don't know how I'm actually going to react if I win this race, guys. I, I don't remember the last time I won in career mode. I won a championship, but that was because of just consistency. I think I won one race that whole season. Sticking consistent to Vettel. Make sure, guys, you clip the reaction for me winning this race. If I do, or whichever happens. What a lap that was. Seven one. We dropped a tenth to him in the last sector. This has just been a, 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 a oh, watch that curve. Watch that curve. Come on, keep focus. Keep focus. You've got five laps to go, man. Just in the five laps to go. We'll do this. Come on. Season one champion Vettel, double time, two time runner up Lewis Hamilton. Perez is overtake. Perez is flying. Let's get some good points for racing point here, mate. But so I'm not calling it no point racing anymore. After this performance, I don't think I ever will again. Setup perfect. The car feels fine. It still feels amazing. Tyres are just blissful. I'm going to lap Ricardo before the end. I'm going to lap Red Bull before the end of the way I'm going here. Eh? Scruffy second half of the lap here, and it's me versus Vettel now. You're to the lap to the car behind one second. Maybe one minute, please. 
he needs to put about one point. Right, Bibby, you've turned that up again. Come on, turn it down. I'll do it, yeah. I'll do it. Come on. Oh, Good girl! Yeah, that, that's the button. You press that one. There you go. Mwah, love you. I see a spot rain before I'm at lap 30 fucking 3 I'm going to flip my way. Vettel is absolutely hauling me in. He's putting all power down here. Giovinazzi causing Hamilton more problems. Weber has fallen out nearly out of the points in this race. Speaking of points, Butler's still on course for his first. The Ferrari's hauling him in of Charles Leclerc. Gasly having a stunning race as well in P4. P5, sorry. He has been overtaken now by the guys. Drop it to medium through these corners. A blue flag to Ricardo. That should not really cause him any issues until the main straight. It's me, RS back. Vettel has left Lewis as well. That's a really, really worrying sign. No choice but to push. Gonna be on, it's gonna be on my ass by the end of the race. Ricardo's it's like his third blue flag now. I guess you go back onto the racing line. I guess right. 4.6 with three to go. Come on. Chicken nuggets, baby. Could this be the biggest upset win I've ever done in my life? I've not put a foot wrong or race. He is absolutely romping me in, it's not even funny. Behind, the gap to the car behind is how far he got on old mediums. Their tires are nine laps old. The time last lap was a one seventeen point eight. 17.8, I'm doing 19s. 18.8, uh, 8, sorry. So I'm like a second lap slower. 4.3 to... One, two laps to go, come on. It's going to be McLaren double podium as well. Max Verstappen doing very well to kind of traverse Lewis Hamilton. Lucky for Lewis, he's had a really good race. I want Gazi to do well, but obviously my teammate, I want him just to fly past him. Former teammate's M2 as well. Don't you dare rain before I cross this fucking line for 32. I can deal with it on 33. Danny Ricardo has held his former teammate Vettel up. Possibly just enough for me to get to the end. Standard mix through. Medium, stand, uh, rich, and medium through here. Until 3.3. This is one stop versus two stop. Come on guys, last lap, come on. I'm still winning, I'm still winning, come on, yes! Come on, right. That was trying everything. I mean everything. He's now within camera shot. to go, come on. And this corner nicely. Overtake around here, let's just keep on overtake for the remainder of the race. Half a second at me again. He's gonna have to put 2.3. If I make a mistake here, I've lost the race of course, but
four corners. Three, two. Guys, guys, yes, 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 I did it, yes, 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 woohoo, yes, get in there, get in there, Look at, come on! I did it! We did it! Get in there! Oh my god! Racing points performance today is just a race! Competitive with the veterans. They're making their way out to the podium now as we speak. The reaction from the crowd. Yes! My little was jumping up and down. Yeah! Oh, it's been 48 races! Yes! Come here! Yeah, we did it! In front of my little one too! Come on! Oh my god, the pattern of frustration! Let's have a look then at the driver's standing. I did Max it! Stappen should be pleased with yes, his baby. performance, making gains at the top of the table. Now, let's oh, discuss Ant, who yes. you say is a contender for driver oh. of the day. I have to who do you the think? Price. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone else will <laughs> It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Yes. continue to increase their gap at the top, yes. while Toro Rosso's yes, strong weekend allows them to continue Come on. their march up the table. After an event like that, Knock it. What the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again Come on. as we continue to bring you the best. That was hot. Look at my lap time. The <laughs> Jesus. What about George, anyway? Get in there. Yes, BB. Shrews, I think it needs to be. <laughs> Daddy did it finally. 48 Grand Prix. I've never had a podium. Screenshot. <laughs> Devon Butler, well done. First points outside of top six teams. Is this the start of the season for me? No, because Monaco's next. I'm going to die. But you know, is this the theoretical start of the season? First Grand Prix win. She was in. <laughs> hey, this is the first time I've not done anything wrong. <laughs> Sick overtaking moves around the outside. Um, perfect strategy, perfect setup, perfect feel. Finally, this car feels drivable. Shrewsy, that's for you, baby. You're and my daughter, obviously. Your way through the field during the race. Uh... Oh, actually, we're going to go and do the. Uh... We'll keep doing these. Yes, baby. Well, Daddy like did it. Changed. Things went a lot better than last weekend, didn't they? Oops, just a bit. Great. Well, that's everything. Oh my God! I just won a Grand Prix, guys. Like, for real. If that reaction was clipped, I, <laughs> I, th I think we got a contender for <laughs> Paul's moment of the year. Hey, Forrest is watching. He's actually seen me not drive like a penis. <laughs> that reaction for winning, though. <laughs> That's a bit extreme, but fuck it. If you guys haven't watched his career mode, you, I think Shrewsy has, Jock has a little bit more. You guys know how much that means to me. I have had the luck from hell this season. No penalties either. Fa wow, we've actually got a clean sweep of five over someone for the first ever time. Gets my first podium, obviously. Ah, then Monaco comes and I die. <laughs> yeah, no worries, mate. Nice for Shrewsy. That'll be on my channel if anyone wants to view it. It just feels good to like, look at look at the rep on Racing Point. <laughs> oh dear. Great work this weekend. It was fantastic to see you up on that podium. Looks like on one podium. Of the is also going to an upcoming historical event. If you choose to take him on, it might help get your name out there a bit. 
Uh, have I done that one? Should I do it? I don't know. Now, by the way, I know this is an incredible achievement for me, guys, but I should have been doing this from the start of the season. Um, Gearbox survived pretty well as well, so I'll be able to sub out without a penalty at this rate. Fresh components really help you guys. Um, right, I'm going to do this rivalry challenge. I think I've done the... Have I done this, guys? I'm sure I have. But you know what? I can't be asked. Fuck it. Don't need a rep. <laughs> well, I do, actually. Lots of it. We've got Monaco coming up. I need all the rep in the world. Um, that just felt amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely over the moon. The effort I put into that race was amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing... I don't think Shrews I'm doing any more streams today. Uh, well, at least not yet, anyway. I'll be doing a Stellaris stream later on. I can't remember what my Stellaris game was, actually. Not yet, baby. We've got about an hour yet. About one o'clock, 20 past one. We'll have, we'll have dinner. You had a late breakfast, remember? What did you have for breakfast, baby? A banana. No, we're not going to the kitchen yet. Oh, are they stamp are you stamping your feet too? So the emotion is real. McLaren improve, Haas improve as well, so they are now clear fourth place. Um got a dry Monaco. My durability is soaring up. Um so hopefully we'll be able to literally run with these parts. Moving forward. Uh the team finally likes me again. <laughs> Um, we need to pretty much win every race. Uh, I'm going to be lowering the car. Actually, what I will be doing, I'm going to be lowering the... <laughs> I'll keep the qualifying position quite low, but the race position, I'm going to raise it right up, I think. And see if we can get some pit stop efficiency, too. Guys. Oh, oh come here. This is Positively Glad, with my daughter sitting on my lap. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please be sure to drop a like on the video. Follow me on Twitch and subscribe to me on YouTube for the first time this season. I haven't actually rage quit. <laughs> so I'll be able to drop the link in the chat in five, four, nope, we'll go back to four, three, two, one. Go. Thank you for watching, folks. All the best. Much love. I'll see you in Monaco tonight. Get in there. Bye for now. Hey.